In this workflow, we're going to handle a bundle inventory using a little Airtable integration. So I'll show that here real quick. So we've got products, we've got variants, and we've got this bundle variants table that's associating them. So there's kind of two main kind of examples here. One is a, you've got like a base. This is like a single SKU bundle. So you've got a base towel and then they sell different embroidered designs on top of the base. And so the inventory for these is impacted by the base inventory, basically. And then here's an, like a more of a true bundle where, or actually, let me show you over here. And this one's more of a true bundle where you've got this bundle that contains two separate products. You've got this pineapple part here and then this little topper topper base part here. And for the sake of a demo, I'm saying that there's two of these required in the bundle, although it's actually just one, but you get the idea. You want to be able to have multiple quantity for each kind of component of the bundle. So the way that I'm defining it is just like this. So you've got the variant and then you've got what it depends on. So these embroidered towels depend on the blank. This pineapple bundle depends on the topper base and the pineapple topper. So that's how that's configured. And then you know you can see the inventory here uh, in here. So let's say you've got nine of each, right? Because again, these are just different embroidered versions of the base blank one. So you've got nine of each and then you run the test. And okay, so here's how it goes. So here's the, this is just the Airtable base information and then we're going we're triggering on or, order created we're looping over the line items for each line item we're pulling up the bundle details here for the particular SKU. and so then in this test order i ordered the ng towel whatever it's going to show that in here oh yeah 12 1219 i ordered the ng towel we're grabbing this record and we're gonna, and then we're going to say, okay, grab the thing that it depends on and then adjust the inventory level for the thing that it depends on. So that's gonna adjust the inventory level for the blank, for the blank variant. And then we're gonna get other, then we also have to adjust the inventory for this guy because that also depends on the same base one. So we grab other variants that have the same dependency loop over those and then adjust the inventory level. So before doing the test, they all had 10 inventory and then now they all have nine because of that, because if that's how it's supposed to work. And then similar deal would happen with this type of a bundle as well. So hope that is maybe useful. I know there's a native Shopify bundles app coming out soon, but just in case this might help with certain use cases, we shall see. Let me know what you think.